This animation was made with Comfy UI. It's a turntable animation which was exported from Autodesk Maya. Head and line art passes were extracted for Control Net, and then it was rendered with Animate Diff. This video is the continuation to the previous Animate Diff video in which detailed process for animating is shown. In this video, we will cover the new updates for the passes extractor, some bug fixes, tips and tricks and workflow enhancers. Now, quick recap of the process. We start by selecting model, adding Lores, selecting resolution, adding prompts, loading passes, rendering and sequencing all the batches. It's time for the updates. Now no need to extract frames using After Effects. Simply drag and drop the file. Right-click on the video and click Copy as Path. Paste the path in the input node. Copy the folder address and paste an output. Enable the passes you need for your video. Downscale if needed. All the enabled passes will be rendered in the output folder. To avoid no input error, a blank image will be saved in the passes folder which are not enabled. You need to install these nodes for the updates to work. All links will be in description below. It's time to solve some common issues. Sometimes blurring can be caused due to models you are using. Some models performs better than the others. Blurring can also be caused due to batch size. The images get smudged due to overlapping and blending. It is observed, moving elements with control net lines remain sharp. One trick you can do to smooth out the harsh transition is that. Suppose you have two batches of 20 images. You generally sequence it one after the other. This gives a very sharp cut between the batches. You can simply render few extra overlapping frames from the next batch and fade out its opacity. This will smoothen out the transition which will be less noticeable. You may have encountered this weird ugly noise, sometimes prompt weights can cause this error. Removing them will help solve the issue. The max handle capacity majorly depends on two factors, batch size and resolution.
balancing them is important, else you will frequently run into out-of-memory issues. Try lowering the resolution or lowering the batch size if you are running out of memory. This method can also help if your case sampler is getting stuck. Animate Diff has so much potential towards stylizing the animation, it's improvising day by day. New methods are being discovered to enhance the animations. I hope to see it one day on the top of AI animation tools. I post tutorials, updates, work in progress, workflows, animation breakdowns, secret techniques and much more stuff on my Patreon. You can check it out if you need documented help. Heartfelt appreciation to my new Patreon family for their unwavering support and giving motivation to make tutorials like this.